Hey guys, welcome back to guitaranimal.com. This is Trent, and today I'm going to share with you a song that one of my younger students uh, in uh, my personal lessons actually uh, brought to me. It's Lava by uh, the Disney Pixar short Lava, and it's a great little song. They played on ukulele in the actual video, and there's a lot of videos showing you how to play it on ukulele, but not a lot showing you how to play it on guitar. So I'm going to show you how to play it on guitar today. It's a great little song. It's very cute. It's a three chord song. Great for beginners. And uh, the one thing you do need is you need a capo. It's one of these things that you basically strap on your guitar. And what it does, it changes the key of the guitar. We're going to put it on our fifth fret today. And you just want to adjust it so it's tight enough that the strings ring true. If it's too loose, it sounds muted. So you just tighten, play in the middle strings, tighten it up until the buzz goes away. Check your first string, sixth string, perfect. So the idea is not really to push the strings all the way down to the fretboard wood, but just solidly against the fret that you're playing it on. Again, fifth fret on this one. Now I'm going to be naming these chords by their shape as opposed to what they actually sound like, because again, we did change the key by moving the nut, which is this, all the way up to the fifth fret. So I'm playing a G shape here, which would be the third fret in front of the capo on the first string and the sixth string. And on the fifth string, we play the second fret in front of the capo. So it's a G shape. The actual sound of that, however, is going to be a C. So if you go to guitaranimal.com, I do have this tabbed out for you. You can download the tabs for all you members. If you're not a member, you get a week for free. Check it out. You can download the tab and print it and, and work from it. It would say G, and then in parentheses next to it, it will say C, and that's the actual sound that we're hearing. My G shape sounds like C in this position. The second chord I'm going to play for the song is called a D7 or in this case it'll sound like a G7 with the capo again. And we're going to be playing the second fret of the first string and the third string, the first fret of the second string, and the open fourth string. And we'll call that D7 for right now. And then the third chord is a C, which is basically third fret above the capo on the fifth string, second fret above the capo on the fourth, open third, first fret of the second string, and open first string, not playing the sixth string, that's our C chord. The strum pattern for this song is going to be down for one and then down, up, down, up, down, up for two and three and four and. So the first strum is a quarter note, one, and then three eighth notes, two and three and four and. So it will sound like this. Alright, so what I'm doing is the G chord down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. I can do that on all six strings, switching to the D7 chord, only the top four strings. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. The C, five strings. Back to G. And then we're going to go to D7 twice. time through slowly. It's like this, starting with a G. D7. C. G. D7. Now what that does is that actually gives us nine measures of chord when we, before we do the repeat. We repeat that whole sequence four times uh, for the initial verse uh, in the intro. And I know that's a little bit odd to have nine, but that's the way the song is and it works very well. So we're going to do two through the G, two through the D7, two through the C, then one G, and then two through the D7 again. So that's going to be our verse. Sounds like this to speed. brings us to the chorus. On the chorus, same chords, different sequence. We're going to do C twice, G twice, D7 twice, G7 
twice again. C twice. G twice. C once. D once. G twice. Then C twice. D twice. G twice. And then we would repeat that all the way to the beginning of the song. So that was the chorus there. Again, that was C for two. singing. <laughs> Alright guys, and that was Lava from the Disney Pixar short Lava. Uh, if you go to guitaranimal.com, we have the chord charts, we have the tablature for this. Uh, again, check us out. You can use our video looper functions and our slowdown features over at guitaranimal.com. Uh, those are members only features. However, the first week is free, so check it out for a week and see if you like it. I think you'll find it a winning combination. You can slow these things down and work at your own speed. That's what it was designed to do. All right, so we'll see you guys at GuitarAnimal.com soon. See you next time.